Hi, in this slide I want to talk about economies of scale or the myth of economies of scale. Now that we understand uh, life cycles and how at the beginning of a life cycle there's an explosive growth stage, we're racing, it's like an Oklahoma land rush, we're racing out to fill a, a, an empty space and uh, everybody's got exclusive franchises and fixed prices and nobody's cutting the price because things are in allocation, it's great. Uh, when that happens, this is the kind of economic thinking that underlies what's going on. If you go and Google, at Google Images, uh, break-even analysis, you'll find all sorts of variations on this curve. But basically the idea is that if I start up day one and I have rent that I've got to pay and I've got phone bills I got to pay and electric utilities, etc. These all add up to sort of my monthly nut, you know, some, some kind of cost I've got to cover with margin dollars. When I get my first order, uh, with that order starts to come cost of just taking care of that order. So uh, I've got to, I've, you know, deliver it. I've got to pay freight and gas and um, labor and so forth. So that's variable cost. If I take the variable cost and I add it shifted over here. Now what I'm looking at is what's called a total cost curve. So you see up here TC for total cost. And I go get volume. So if I can get sales, 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 sales at a fixed price, you know, a standard margin percent, at some point there's going to be this crossing of the lines and the space in here starts to become profit. And you notice that the profit gets greater and greater as the sales go higher and higher. Now, this chart assumes that sales grow to the sky, right? Uh, you know, there's an infinite pail to fill. It assumes that the margin percent stays the same. Nobody's going to compete and cut the prices. It assumes that the variable cost stays the same. In other words, if I drive my truck further and further and further, deliver a smaller and smaller order, a smaller and smaller customer pays me slower and slower and slower, that doesn't show up on this curve. So this, this kind of thinking works early on in life cycles but then it doesn't. So now we're going to look at all of the blind spots that this thinking doesn't see when we're in a mature consolidating channel like most of us currently are. So we'll take on, we'll look at the blind spots in, in the next two slides. Thanks.